Hey guys, this is Max Hunt 15 bringing you an episode of Smite. Now I know this is pretty unusual, but um, I'm not going to turn this into a series. I was thinking of doing uh, a sort of like lazy Saturday gaming, I guess you could call it series, uh, but more sort of like theme where we rotate different games such as Smite, Warframe, possibly League of Legends, I'm not quite sure yet, but uh, just to sort of rotate those uh, each week and just play a different one. Oh, and also, if you guys have any games for me which you think are cool and you've played before and you thoroughly enjoyed, then please do let me know in the comments below, uh, and I will take a look at them and uh, see if I want to include those in the rotation. Anyway, on to Smite. Smite is a MOBA-style game which is, of course, based on gods. Uh, now, this, uh, well, rather, these are gods from every sort of religion or culture, because uh, you've got Greek, then you've also got Norse, Chinese, Egyptian, and Hindu, uh, and then also Mayan as well. There's a really, really huge variety in it. And one thing I'd like to point out, uh, here they have added a new character, Kronos, the Keeper of Time. And they add characters so frequently in this game. It's really nice to see. Like, in the past, I think it's been about, like, something like two months, they've added, like, uh, Aphrodite, Isis, Apollo, and also um, Humbats as well, which is really nice to see because it shows that the developers of Smite are sort of thoroughly invested in, the, in this game uh, and are constantly trying to bring new content uh, to their players and their fans, which is really, really good uh, for a game like this. Now, in terms of the rotation this week, because obviously in keeping with uh, the traditional MOBA style, Smite has a rotation every week of free gods that you can play as. Uh, let us just quickly take a look at them. So here we have Apollo, who's the god of music, Artemis, the goddess of the hunt, Freya, the queen of the Valkyries, Guan Yu, Guan Yu, I have no idea how to pronounce that, so uh, yeah, there we go. And then Sobek, the god of the Nile, Ra, the sun god, Odin, obviously the all father, who's from Norse legends, uh, Kali, the goddess of destruction, Humbats, the Howler Monkey God, and then Ymir, the father of the Frost Giants. So there we go, that is our rotation this week. Um, I was thinking in this episode I'm just going to quickly play a match, show you guys what the sort of game is about, how it plays, and sort of point out a few features such as sort of the combat in this game and stuff like that. But I'd like to quickly get into it, because I don't want to make the episode too long. Oh, and look at this. Okay, well this is the game mode we're going to be playing, which is called Arena. In future episodes of Smite, I will be showing you the different types of game modes, and probably in the next episode I'll walk you through them as well, but for this one, we are going to be playing in Arena. Now, Arena is a 5v5 um, match, where you're in a gladiatorial arena, and each side has two portals, and minions spawn, and the idea is to get your minions into your enemy's portal, and each side has a ticket count, which I believe starts at 500, and then the first, um, and then the more minions go into your enemy's portals, the faster their ticket count goes down. And then, like the obviously the sides um, whose tickets goes down to zero first loses, and then consequentially the other side wins. Now, for this episode, I think I am going to go with Ra to play as. Now, this is like no reason other than uh, I played as him the most. I found him most enjoyable, and also he has a lot of sort of uh, variation in his skills, as I will uh, show you guys later. Now, one thing I do want to point out. Uh, is that down here there's a credit system. Now there are two types of credit in this game, there's gems and then there's favour. Gems are, you can like buy with real money in the store and then obviously you don't have to do any effort, you literally just buy it and then you can spend them on different items and gods. Whereas favour, you earn from winning matches and stuff like that, so favour you just get uh, naturally by playing. Uh, you do get some for losing if you do lose, but uh, the majority comes from winning. Anyway, we are just going to quickly lock in our character, Ra. Uh, and as you can see, the gods which our sort of um, opponents have selected, uh, not opponents, rather, our teammates have selected are in the background here. So here we have Poseidon, who looks awesome in this game. Uh, we have Apollo here, uh, who actually, he's quite new to the game, as I mentioned beforehand, and he really does look very cool. He definitely has a <laughs> character to himself if you watch him sort of. Uh, pose in the background. And then we have Neith, who's the weaver goddess uh, of Egypt, and then Loki in the background. Loki is very interesting in this game. He doesn't look like what you'd uh, think. He's quite sort of an assassin based class. He has a, uh, a few stealthing abilities, which is pretty cool. Oh, and now this is the first time that you can see your opponents. So, gods they've chosen. There's Neith, uh, Freya, Loki, Balset, Balset, I'm not sure how to say that. Uh, Sorbet, yeah, I might just mention don't. Um, 
help me count on any mispronunciations of these gods' names. Some of them are pretty weird. I know that's probably not how you say it. It's Basset. Bastet. Yeah, that's pretty how you say it there. Uh, so just don't pull me up on that. But anyway, the match. Oh, here we are. We're in the match. Now, I might just put something out. If you see, there is this blue arrow ahead of us. And because we are a ranged character, like Loki's a melee character, and he can only hit what is in front of him. Uh, whereas a ranged character can hit anything uh, that comes into range of this blue arrow. And this is one really cool feature about um, Smite, is it's completely action orientated, um, and you can dodge every attack you see. So it's not just you tab targets and you like get all these uh, hits in. It's literally, uh, if I fire like this, everyone could dodge that. I mean, all gods can dodge that. You literally have to time it well and aim it well. It's all about aiming, basically. Now, this is my number one ability, and as you can see, it has this sort of telegraph, um, which indicates where my attack is going to go. And, this, uh, and obviously, in a game like this, that's really, really useful. And we're just going to get out of the way because we are a mage uh, class. But, oh god. Um, but anyway, I should, I should have explained my abilities at the start of the uh, episode. I just really wanted to get into it and, and get started, because that's probably the best way to sort of show you guys how this works. Um, but anyway, in terms of the abilities that I have right now... Um, okay, well, I'm going to die right now because I'm um, not doing too well. Oh, wait, no, I think we might escape this person, if, if we can. Oh, God damn it, we almost made that. Oh, well, uh, it doesn't really matter. But basically, my number one ability is called Celestial Beam, and it basically like has this long ray of like burning heavenly light, as you saw earlier, uh, which just basically hurts foes in a the line. Then my second ability has this big telegraph around me, and anyone caught in that will have this sort of like timer set on them, and it's just sort of like a short detonation time, uh, which will then explode and deal damage and stuff like that. Um, but also, I believe it can heal and uh, allies if it hits al allies. Okay, I'm just completely messed up. Wow, I'm really confused at what's going on here. I don't know who's on my team or not. Um, and then my third ability is what I just used just now. Yeah, Loki sure gets annoying. Okay, now I'm just going to quickly run, because I have no chance of defeating these guys uh, by myself. But anyway, um, as you saw there, I activated my number 3 ability, which is a circle on the ground which I can place anywhere. By the way, you can cancel all abilities by right clicking. Basically, it's sort of a healing slash damage move, because it hurts all enemies in that area, but also heals all allies in that area, and that includes these minions, by the way. Now, speaking of minions, this is like one thing I wanted to point out. A lot of people who like start this game out sort of think, oh, you know, you have to go straight to the enemy's uh, gods. Yeah, you kind of do. But um, the main thing is to sort of get the um, get the minions of the other side. Because the minions are sort of your main source of like um, reducing your opponent's ticket count, which is you know obviously how you win the game. Uh, so that's sort of the main thing you have to look out for and what you're sort of meant to do basically. And now as you can see, we're sort of like up against quite a big bunch of goods, uh, gods here, so it's quite hard. No. Yeah, I'm just, not, <laughs> just trying not to die, to honest. Because we are a mage class, so we're not like the biggest tanker around. Oh, and I forgot to mention my number 4 ability. Now, your number 4 ability in this game is a, um... Oh, we got a first fair kill! Yes, I was just going for that. <laughs> okay. Um, but your number 4 ability is your ultimate. Uh, and each character, I, w I would like to point out, each character has a very, very different type of um, ultimate. Uh, each um, god has a very different type of ultimate, like Kronos, which was the Keeper of Time that you saw at the start, who's just been recently added, his ultimate uh, basically is just called simply a rewind, and it literally just rewinds his character to, to be like where he was 8 seconds beforehand, um, so literally he gains back all his health and mana that he had uh, 8 seconds ago, um, while also, um, oh wow, okay, I'm not sure what's going on here, um, while also Every single one of his abilities, like cooldowns, is reset, which is really, uh, I mean, it's really, really useful. It's not like um, the other sort of ultimates that you think about where it's just like pure DPS uh, and damage. Each one has its own sort of like advantage over others. I mean, like some, yes, it's just purely about uh, having that like uh, DPS advantage over the enemy, but then others are not like that. 
Oh god, and we missed. That was our ultimate, by the way. And the main thing about our ultimate that makes it good is it's not its like damage. Obviously, it has quite a high amount of damage, but it's mainly its um its range because Ra is very much a sort of support character, um, but also DPS at the same time. And having this like huge uh, range on his number four ability is so so useful for a character like him uh, because. I know, I could get rid of these archers because they're the main source of annoyment. Um, because if someone's running away from you, like an enemy god, run away, they're almost defeated, right? You literally just pick them off uh, as they run at you. Uh, run away from you, rather. Uh, which is really, really useful ability in this game. Yes, we actually got that person. I'm just going to quickly uh, run back and kill myself. Oh, and of course we have um, the lovely freaking Loki on us. Man, Loki is so annoying, I swear. He's just, he just pops out anywhere and just starts stacking you. I have no idea, like, where he is half the time. It's kind of irritating. Um, but anyway, as you possibly saw just a minute ago, I used one of my um, items. Uh, or, like, I kind of call them, like, uh, abilities, I guess. They are basically abilities. But basically, um... Uh, basically, your F, G, and C uh, keys are basically sort of locked so that they have different abilities on them. Your uh, G, uh, your G one is a speed boost, and that's the one I used before. Um, and then obviously your F is a mana regen. While uh, you're, I'm just trying to get this person in the Yes, we actually got the person in the but Yes. Oh no, we, I thought we had to take over. Oh well. Um, Whereas uh, F is a managed regen, and then obviously C is a health regen. So they are very useful items. And C, I might just point out, you can buy for item shop. Yes, there is still an item shop in this game uh, where you can get better items as you go along, better equipment, stuff like that. Uh, so it's just like other MOBA games, such as like League of Legends and, and stuff like that. Uh, I'm, I'm not saying. I, I know a lot of people when they think MMO, uh, MMO, uh, MOBA style games, they think League of Legends. Uh, this is very different from League of Legends. I might just point out. Because um, in League of Legends, you know, there is quite a lot of skill required. You have to, you know, know what you're doing. Uh, you have to know, like, how to hide. Like, one main thing about League of Legends, which I've noticed, is, you know, you have to have quite a lot of tactics. Like, you get these people who sort of, like, you know, lead you into sort of the jungle area, hide in the bush, and then jump out and store you. So they know what they're doing. Whereas in this game, yes, you have to have some skill, like, you know, know what you're doing and know where you're aiming and stuff like that. And know, like, the right time to use different sort of abilities. But also, you need to, uh, wow, I think Loki just disappeared there. Um, but also, it's very, very balanced in its gameplay. So it's not just like, you know, uh, oh, um, oh, this team's too skilled, we're going to die anyway. Uh, no, it's not at all like that. It's literally just, uh, it's, it's a very sort of free um, game. It's very much back and forth, back and forth in terms of the uh, gameplay because uh, it's so balanced because the, the developers are trying to done a great job of making the whole game balanced and each god doesn't really overpower others apart from these guys who are overpowering me right now I'm not even taking that much damage, I just get freaked out because they're always chasing me and Freya has some really irritating abilities um, but yeah uh, as I was saying it's very very balanced so it can go either way like I've once been in a match because uh, right now, if you take a look at the kids' scores, we are basically just like absolute, uh, absolutely like level-headed um, in terms of our tick account. Like we are on 380, they are on 378. So that's like literally nothing. There's no difference there. Um, well, okay, well this person. I hate that sound. Oh my god, that cat woman. So annoying. Um, but as I was going to say, I've been in a match before where like we've been a hundred tickets down, roughly. Um, but then we just like come back. And we just like, apps. um, we just like defeated them so, like, I wouldn't say easily, but we've obviously defeated them. Um, and so in the end, we've just been, in, end up coming back from like a hundred tickets down just to win by an absolute mile. Like, I remember I was in this one match where I think we were on something like 50 tickets and there were like a hundred and something tickets left, uh, to, on our side. So they were winning by quite a lot. Um, but then we just literally, um, the other side, I don't know what happened, I'm not sure they sort of like, woke up or something and actually just started like, taking it seriously, but they just like, suddenly just, um, just started defeating us, and it was just like an absolute massacre, we just lost like, a hundred tickets, so quickly, 
Uh, compared to, you know, what you normally expect. Man, this Loki ability is so irritating where he, like, he becomes freaking invisible. So goddamn irritating. We're gonna try and get this guy. Yes! And we got him! Now that is a extremely good example of how useful um, Ra's ultimate is. It's just a long celestial like line which has like, such incredible range. Uh, and that's what makes it so good. Uh, in terms of like if you're fighting against someone. Oh wow, yeah, just spawn cats by then you let my minions do work. Oh man, that woman has some really irritating abilities. I think I'll just quickly pop in here and heal up. Obviously, if you walk back to your home base, you uh, heal up uh, both your mana and your health bar. Now, speaking of mana, obviously there is a mana bar in this game, and that's purely just to make sure that, you know, no one is so overpowered and can, like, spam abilities, uh, like, you know, you normally expect. Um, which is, you know, a sensible, way of, a sensible way of doing the game. Um, wow, I don't know what's going on. Is that... Oh, I don't need the characters following us. Okay, now this is a bad thing, so I'm just going to hit G and escape quickly. Also, I'll hit G to start heal us up a little bit. Otherwise, we are going to be screwed by that weird cat woman who is bloody annoying, to be honest. I probably sound quite proper saying bloody annoying, but I what the hell. Um, yeah, so far... Okay, wow, we're actually winning. Okay, I'm kind of surprised. I thought we were losing. I thought we were not doing too well, and this cat woman was just like completely ignoring me. I don't know what she's doing, she's, she's running and she can apparently leap through walls which is pretty interesting it's kind of strange uh, okay I'm gonna get out of here because there's too many of them I'm just gonna try and take Neath down because this thing, do not like wander into enemy's territory because you do still have territory so there's definite size to this uh, but do not sort of wander into sort of enemy territory by yourself because uh, you will get slaughtered like three to nil. Now, if you look, my respawn time is quite high right now. It's around about like 20 seconds, and that's because we are winning by around about 30 tickets. And the game does this. I believe it sort of uh, calculates how much time, uh, how much respawn time you have, due to like how much time your team is either winning or losing the match. Because uh, then it sort of balances it out. Because obviously, if your uh, team is winning. Um, then your respawn times will be high, which then gives the opponent's team a chance to uh, sort of counter attack and like, get back on uh, the winning side. It, it's just all about balance, which is a really nice thing to see in a game like this. You know, because well, obviously in the MOBA style game, it's not all about. Sort of... Oh god, damn it, we almost killed her! Okay, now for Zaps of the Sat. I'm not aware, okay, we're getting started. Oh god, it's so irritating when you come against Nina characters. I like to mention this. Melee characters in this game, I believe they have slightly more attack power. Obviously to make it fair, because ranged characters, um, they obviously, you know, they can shoot things from far away, whereas melee characters obviously, you know, have to get right up close and personal. So, they sort of, um, have done this, so I believe that melee characters have a slight, sort of, basic attack power, uh, increase, compared to a ranged character like myself, which is Ra. Now, as you can see here, uh, Unsub-Zero, which is a pretty cool name, he used a, which look, uh, an ability which looked like sort of a teleport ability, it's called Recall, and it basically it allows you to just obviously recall yourself back to the uh, home starting point, and what is this, why are we in the sky? Uh, I believe that's Freya's ability, it's kind of irritating. Now I'm just going to quickly run, we have two cat women on us, which is kind of frustrating. Uh, shall we just use the ultimate? No, there's no one in sight. Um, and then we'll just activate C to heal ourselves up, we don't need to go back to base. You know, want to keep in the action, be helping our teammates out. But uh, yeah, as I was saying, uh, there was a recall. There's a recall spell which just basically allows you to recall yourself back to um, base. But obviously, you know, there's a uh, there's is a recall time, so it's not like just an instant ability. You just make sure it's safe because you know you don't want to uh, be attacked by tons of enemies. Oh god, that man, ability is really frustrating. We basically got ourselves murdered. At some time. Wow. Okay, well, that wasn't the best. Um, but I think Apollo did well to sort of handle that situation. He actually managed to sort of uh, get a kill in the end. Come on then, Freya. Let's see what you made of. Okay. Now, 
Uh, in terms of the recall, obviously you have to make sure you're in a safe place because uh, otherwise you can get taken down by enemies if you're just sort of standing still. Because it is sort of a, uh, you, it, you are putting in a sort of disadvantaged position because, um, oh, we got a bear girl, yes! Now that, once again, is a perfect example of how to use that ultimate. You literally just use it to pick off um, the last people. As I was saying, obviously, if you're like sitting down on the ground and you're in sort of recall time, anyone can just attack you and then you can quickly get swamped. It's quite surprising in this game how quickly you can get swamped, but right now we are doing pretty well in terms of uh, how much we are winning by, to be honest. I'm kind of surprised at that, in a way, because I thought we weren't doing so well. Now, as you can see, our teammates are going for the minions, so they seem to know what they're doing. Because, uh, as I mentioned earlier in this uh, episode, or um, video, it was all about, you know, um, killing the minions and defeating the minions, because after all, they are your main source of defeating your enemy, or reducing your enemy's ticket count. Uh, so that is sort of one handy tip, I would say, for uh, the future of oh, well, Frey's her ultimate, that is such an annoying ultimate. She literally she flies up in the uh, air, and then she just has like these missiles of energy, which she can just literally... Uh, okay, well, and Freya. Freya, I swear she has some like, speed boost or something, because she can go insanely far at some point. Which is really irritating. Come on, Apollo, you can defeat him. He's got such low health. There we go. Okay, see, and now we're not winning by massive amount. That's why my respawn time there, I believe, was uh, shortened quite a bit. As you can see, it says we just purchased the winged wand, or whatever that is. Um, but this is uh, another example of how... There is an item uh, shop in the game, which, you know, obviously you get money uh, by defeating uh, minions and stuff like that, and also defeating enemy players. Uh, and then by and then you can use this money, obviously, to, um, to buy new uh, gear, which will help you. What the hell's going on? I swear we've just been crowded there. As I was saying, buy items to... Um, to improve your character, improve their um, power. Now, obviously, I'm saying like <laughs> I'm saying quite a lot as I was saying. Um, I know this commentary, uh, commentation may be a little bit disjointed, but that's purely because this game is so sort of um, movement-based and very much action-based. So it's very, very sort of uh, engaging, and you literally all the time have to watch what you're doing uh, and stuff like that. And that's why it's you know. Sometimes quite hard to commentary along with it because it's very, uh, very fast paced, very action orientated, uh, which is really nice to see in a game because uh, it's been quite a while since I've come along and uh, come across a game where you are like so sort of engrossed in it that you know it's quite hard to sort of think of something to say. Um, but by the way, my um, like because as you level up in the game, I might just mention obviously you level up your character up to I believe it's like a max level 20 which we are right now uh, and you gain that by obviously defeating uh, minions and stuff like that um, but then you can also uh, gain uh, XP by I'm sorry I'm just trying to get the Catwoman thing here no actually no we're not going to get her enough. I just went completely the wrong way I'm just going to click G and C to quickly escape or not as the case may be oh, 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 oh. Okay, yeah, that's don't. That's one thing. Do not chase an enemy. <laughs> I'm so hypocritical in this video. I'm saying don't do this, don't do this. I uh, just do it myself. Uh, but yeah, as I was saying, it's been a while since I came across sort of a game which uh, is so sort of engaging. You know, it's perfectly exciting to say. Now, taking a quick look at the score, we are winning by um, not too much, 60. Which, to be honest, I know it sounds like quite a bit, but that's seriously not much of a game. As uh, you will know from my future examples, you know how quickly the tide of battle can turn in this game. Now, Neath is just running because there are way too many characters on her um, attacking her right now. And there's one thing about the game, it's very much, as I mentioned beforehand, uh, sort of to and fro, you know, it's not just like a set battle right from the start. Oh, god damn it. Uh, it's, very, uh, it's very much not like a set battle. There's definite uh, sort of toing and throwing, so it's very equal, so, and, that, and that makes it a very enjoyable game. Now, in terms of sort of the graphics in this game, I think they suit the graphics up very, very well. I mean, they're not obviously like high tech graphics, but they're definitely suited because they sort of have this sort of um, almost uh, mythical look on them. I know that doesn't even make sense as I'm saying it, uh, but it's true. It sort of it fits the whole persona of the game extremely well, uh, which is nice to see. 
Uh, and I don't think they should uh, make it even more realistic or anything like that. I think it's fine as it is. Uh, so yeah. Now in terms of obviously the sound quality of this game, it's very good. It, I mean it suits the sort of uh, arena, like right now you can hear all this cheering, which is a really nice feature to the game. I've noticed that whenever you kill a like enemy god, there's like there's this cheering. And that's really quite cool to see. Because obviously um, it means they've added like this extra feature to the game, which just makes it all the more sort of uh, I guess engaging to uh, the person, uh, to the players. The one thing I would like to see more of is possibly like, you know, better sound, like a, like a dramatic sound as this whole thing is going on. But if we take a quick look at the tip count, we are almost there, we're two away, that's like nothing in this game. Literally, if we kill an enemy god right now, we will have won it. Unfortunately, I think uh, that will probably happen while we are basically uh, respawning, unfortunately. Oh wait, no, we're now on one. This is insane. Come on, we have to get our like one, our one ticket count. I mean, they're getting so many ticket counts off us. What happened? Why the hell aren't we getting any ticket count? Man, that's kind of frustrating. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, take the fucking rest of the Oh, of course, Loki bursting up with his flipping annoying thing. And there we go, and we won! Now, had you been watching there, you would have seen that the sort of statue above that thing was slowly degrading the more ticket counts went down. Like, it started out sort of an angel and its wings flew off and stuff like that. And that's just another really cool feature for the game, which, without even looking at the ticket, sort of shows you, um, how well you're doing and as you can see here we got 500 favor which is really really cool um, and this is just the victory menu or if we had been defeated this would have been our defeat menu now this is a really cool feature about this game each god has their own sort of like um, sort of victory cinematic and then also losing cinematic like right now this is Ra's victory cinematic now let's just, just quickly take a look at how we did and then I'm afraid we'll have to wrap up guys so here we've got 21 assists, which is a lot. I should mention this earlier on. You do get a lot of assists in this game because purely just because you're sort of uh, throwing abilities everywhere and they will hit other things and then people get the kills. Uh, and now we have four player kills, which is good. That's sort of like my average uh, player kills. As I said earlier, I normally get around about five in a match. And if we take a look at our total wins, we've now got 12. So total losses is seven. So it's not it's not around about 50-50. But you know, uh, we've got more wins than losses. Uh, which is good to see in a game like this and it is quite balanced because it's not like I've just got all wins or all losses um, I've got a few wins and a few losses which is nice to see in a game like this I, I wish I've said it's balanced a lot but that is one key feature of this game it's very very balanced oh and I think we even leveled up yes because we were level 6 when we started this we are now level 7 and also we got a ton of favour we got 500 plus 51 so it's 551 that we got which now takes our total favour up to 4,000 uh, 4, rather uh, 622 which is brilliant now we are close to uh, being able to buy our first god because some gods are like 3,500 other gods are 5,500 so we are close to getting to the 5,500 mark so if any of you guys play smite and have any gods that you'd sort of like to recommend to me to play as uh, in future episodes or even just buy with our favor because I'm looking uh, for a god to buy once we get enough favor uh, please let me know in the comments below and I'll take a look at and decide from then but I guess we'll just wrap up here I guess all there is left to say is I hope you have a great week wherever you are in the world I hope to see you next time in our future episodes and series I will see you then and bye bye